Let's first talk about one of President Trump's signature campaign promises was to bring American jobs back and to strengthen the American jobs economy. I know that you have been really engaged on this issue for quite a while. What are you looking to hear from the president on that front tonight? Well, start big picture. I am hoping that he will veer away from his very uh, divisive uh, uh, speeches like the one he gave on uh, Inauguration Day and get away from this American carnage type rhetoric that we heard um, on that at that moment. Um, but what I hope is that uh, Donald Trump, uh, in this very important speech, will set out a clear plan of action on how he intends to keep the promises that he made to Wisconsin workers and American workers generally. You know, I have long supported Buy America policies mm -hmm. um, because especially when we're uh, rebuilding our nation's infrastructure, I want to make sure that we're using American components, American products, and of course American workers. Um, my guest at the State of the Union tonight is um, a retiree from Nina Foundry. Uh, who has spent his entire work life uh, creating products for America's water infrastructure. I want President Trump to tell workers like Roddy, who's going to be joining me tonight, um, what he's going to do to uh, give meaning to his Buy America rhetoric. What do your constituents in Wisconsin think of the president's aggressive posture towards corporate America in terms of keeping jobs or bringing jobs back to the United States? You know, what I'm hearing actually is a president who during the campaign promised to stand up, uh, drain the swamp, uh, rid Washington of the folks who rigged the system in their own favor against the American worker. And the concern that they're expressing now that that's not who he's nominating to his cabinet and to other really important positions in the administration. Um, in fact, quite the contrary, he's filling his cabinet with um, individuals who have greatly benefited from an unlevel playing field uh, that doesn't benefit uh, U.S. workers. Well, when we talk about the playing field <laughs> in the immediate, the president released a budget yesterday that has drawn some consternation from Democrats and Republicans alike. Do you think this budget can pass? Are we headed for a government shutdown? What's going to happen here? Well, budgets are, are about values. And uh, so first I would say of what the president uh, presented, uh, he is looking at uh, plussing up uh, defense, and of course we all support making sure that our, uh, our, our fighting men and women, our men and women in uniform, have what they need to keep themselves safe and America safe. That said, he is talking about um, gutting uh, some of the things that we do domestically that also keep us safe, that also make us strong as an American people. And when you're talking about perhaps slashing in half the um, State Department, uh, which plays a very uh, central role in, in keeping us safe as a nation, smart power. Um, when he's talking about uh, devastating the uh, environmental protections that we have, um, we're all talking about things that um, would really uh, go against our core values as uh, an American people. Um, now. Having said that, he presents his budget to Congress, and there is a process by which, uh, frankly, uh, it starts with the House, but they, they write their own. Right. And so we'll see how uh, reflective it is of uh, what Donald Trump is talking of about. Of his priorities. Point. That is the big question. How much will the White House priorities mirror those of the House Republican Caucus? Well, and there's cleavages there. Yes. Because uh, Trump. Uh, interestingly, during his campaign, vowed to protect Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security. But uh, Paul Ryan uh, and uh, others in the House have long looked at uh, gutting those uh, retirement safety net programs as a way to uh, deal with budgeting. And um, that's going to put them in sharp contrast. On this one, I'm with Trump, that if you have worked your whole life, you deserve um, and have earned Social Security and Medicare. Right.